Hi and welcome to today's NCCR product news. We will be talking about, not this actually, this is <laughs> kind of secret still, so we're just giving you a sneak peek. Maybe. Yeah, hello, long time not seen. Exactly. Uh, yeah. um, there's some exciting new news coming up, like yes. uh, twin, flat twin. Exactly, it's not a V-twin, but we are uh, widening our horizons and we are going into the BMW field as well. Yeah, so don't worry, we will still full support the Buell and EBR yes. brand, um, but uh, yeah, we need to do something else uh, um, Yeah, to keep that all running here and also, yeah, honestly, looking for new challenges. And it still has two cylinders. It, have, it, it is a twin, and it, as long as it's a Not twin. V twin, but it's a twin, and it's a box. Yeah, so I think the yeah, box is yeah, a yeah. But, but but you know, NCCR Sport Twin was from the earliest beginning from your uh, mother. mother? Uh, yes. uh, it was BMW. Yes. So um, I think we. We identified something, what is cool, what is promising, and that is uh, BMW 4 valve motor, the early ones, um, the 1150, they're easy to get. And reliable, yeah. so reliable, it's insane. Yeah, and we started with a frame. Yes, so if you haven't seen that, uh, that was the frame that we had yeah. at the Oslo Motor Show. So this is our frame, or the bike that we brought with us, because this is looking really normal right it looks like it's supposed to be like this it doesn't look weird anyway but if you know this is an 1150 this is supposed to have a tunnel lever front end so it's supposed to have suspension in here not a normal fork like you see here so what we did is we made our own frame this one it's in Dokol steel so the swedish ssab steel and what we did is we uh, redesigned it to accept normal triples and a normal fork. So this is the fork of a, uh, this year's F900R and it's just making so much sense, right? It looks like it's always been supposed to be this way. So it lets you build anything from it. You could make a cafe race, a hard endurer, whatever you like because the engines are really reliable, really good and you can get a working reliable bike for basically no money at all. Yeah, there we had this um, uh, uh, RS, what was uh, converted uh, on the front end. Bagger style. Yeah, from... <laughs> converted from tailor lever to uh, normal, normal telescopic fork. We had there a 23 uh, F900R fork. Wilbur's converted, of course, the rear with Wilbur suspension. And um, yeah, from that we, we, we thought, mm, okay, there is the frame and then we start to like the motor. Yes, actually, because uh, then also when we were doing the front end on it, uh, we're looking into, well, maybe if you're already on a very modern front end and they usually have already ABS, maybe that's something to look into. Yeah, yeah. And, 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 and then some, I don't know, it was a couple of years ago, we uh, developed the ABS uh, system for the EBR 1190, RX and SX. And then we offered it, uh, yeah, we, we thought maybe it could be uh, used uh, uh, for the actual line, there was no interest. No. So we said, okay, um, yeah, it is something where we already had our head in and then we... And we have a very good cooperation there. Yeah, we have yes. the cooperation with the people who work with the ABS and they lately developed a conversion kit for the early BMW what have a lot of problems with the RBS module. Mm. Um, so there we are talking um, uh, 1200 GS and so on. Yes. And uh, so this is something what we uh, already 
yeah, announced in the last uh, Bumsen, the uh, BMW magazine. I, I'm uh, sorry, I can't uh, <laughs> keep a straight face because it means something rather inappropriate in German. And it's funny because it's a German bike, but the Swedish name for the Swedish uh, club magazine <laughs> is Bumsen. And if you're German, you're going to go, ha ha, no. <laughs> yeah, exactly. So, um, uh, 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 so, so from there, we, uh, we, we started to build up some brake uh, uh, expertise. And, and, and well, we, we have seen on this uh, other project we uh, launched uh, earlier on the MBA, uh, earlier this year on the MBA in uh, Italy, there we, for the first time, had hair yes. brake components in. Oh, and they're so pretty. Yeah, and this is a new partner. And uh, we thought, OK, we have suspension with Wilbur's, uh, what is uh, one of our uh, strong sides. And we have the frame building. And uh, because of that, we decided uh, that uh, talking brakes, developing components. Yeah. We over the years we had a lot. This is one of this CTL uh, alternative, and this is still in a way unfinished business. Yeah. Um, uh, uh, with the, with the superbike inventory, we got all this prototype stuff mm -hmm. uh, from the CTL. Uh, we call them internal here 2.5. Uh, uh, the race version that is a uh, six piston um, what we tested very successful um, uh, with Harald Kitsch back in the days uh, against the eight piston uh, uh, and found out uh, that a good made six piston is maybe also something uh, uh, we will we will look into that in the future so brakes and brake components and ABS is something uh, what we will do more with. Yes, and this is, just to make clear, this is mostly Buell and EBR. The, yeah. the ABS is both uh, EBR, Buell and for the BMW, just so you're not getting super confused. <laughs> because now, just to confuse you more, we have one more really cool partnership, which is Max ECU. And this will be exclusively for the BMW because, I mean, we have Jesse Brown and he is amazing yeah. in uh, max and tuning in that way. And he uh, is uh, not only racing the things, he is also doing the harnesses and everything. And he's doing such a great job. And we just don't want to interfere with that because yeah. he's in Buell EBR and yeah, well, we will do this in BMW. Yeah, we, uh, he already made with my glory. He have it on yes. his uh, uh, Bonneville bike and, uh, and Max ECU. He works daily with it. And he made with uh, Max Laurie, the, uh, with Mike, Mike Laurie, um, the uh, conversion uh, to the Max ECU, Max and Mike. So Max and it's Mike, uh, yes. Mike and ECU uh, <laughs> and Jesse. Yeah. Uh, so so uh, we we will focus absolutely um, with this ECM on or ECU um, on BMW. On BMW. And look how small it is. I mean. I don't have really big hands, but this basically fits in the palm of my hand even, and it's really light and really, I thought it would be bigger, because I've only seen like the bigger car ECUs mm -hmm. before, but when this one arrived, I was really surprised. I mean, how can this thing manage everything? But it does. It's cool. It have an uh, uh, integrated map sensor, what is good for yeah. like uh, maybe non-aspirated uh, applications, like with Turbo and so on. Yeah. And um, uh, uh, we will develop an... Uh, uh, a bolt-on wiring harness now for the BMW Boxer mm -hmm. um, because uh, the original ECM on the uh, 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 these early Boxer bikes it is uh, like uh, yeah looking like a Glitchatronic Boxer from an old Merc uh, from the uh, 70s. It's huge. It's huge. It's heavy, and also all the uh, the cable and all the wiring uh, on this BMW is, is not exactly as I would. It's car. It's yeah. basically taken from a car, put into yeah. a bike. <laughs> I think it came with the 1200 GS. Then they really, really switched into the motorcycle mode. Mm -hmm. When you work on these bikes, uh, it's all much lighter. And um, yeah, they, from, from from generation to generation, they were getting uh, lighter. The old one still had a car radio. 
Yeah, yeah, we we ladies loaded an yeah. RT and uh, and there was on the motorcycle what was a car radio uh, put from the factory on the motorcycle and as I've seen it right there was even the connection for the CD uh, changer so maybe it was a blau punkt wasn't it yeah, 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 yeah. so and really good German quality yeah yeah and and <laughs> and, and, and and the speakers. Yeah. They were really, uh, I put them aside and, and said, uh, yeah, we, I, put I, I, we put them in the boat, <laughs> exactly. So, so this stuff uh, from being very, when you start working on it, um, it is quite amazing. And uh, we had a look now also on the heads yeah. and um, we uh, started up uh, a very, very good cooperation again now uh, regarding CNC, cylinder head porting. And uh, there's also uh, something, there are some, things we need to yeah, develop, of mm. course, uh, exhaust systems there. We also will have the uh, continue or extend the exactly. cooperation uh, with Alan Hawks from AP, uh, of APH yeah. uh, in England, um, uh, because uh, we have seen on the heads that there uh, it start with uh, exhaust design how the exhaust comes out to get the generate a lot more flow mm. so there will be uh, stage one stage two uh, cylinder head porting and then in combination uh, with the exhaust system in combination with the max ecu in combination <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. it's a lot going on really but it's really fun because it's something yeah. new for us and we think that this is really nice to dig into actually yeah and uh, this bike uh, will be uh, fun. fun, it will be a step between. We are uh, already working on an enduro, uh, yes. a light enduro uh, uh, conversion based on our frame with Wilbur's components. Uh, the wheels are already uh, uh, in, the we in the make, 21 yes. in front and uh, uh, yeah. Spoke wheels, of course. Of course, spoke of course. wheels. And, but but there you uh, yeah you you need to learn a lot about uh, when you go into a new brand. We are now nearly uh, yeah over twenty, nearly thirty years in Buell and EBR, and uh, as much as it is fun, as much as it is fun also to learn something new. Yes, I mean as I said in the beginning, it's widening your horizon. I mean yeah. you never stop learning, and this yeah. is our opportunity to learn something totally. New. Yeah. It's exactly. <laughs> yeah. And there's not much on the market and uh, the bikes are cheap, uh, yes. as and Julia so said, reliable. reliable, exactly. And uh, yeah. Something totally new for us. <laughs> no, sorry. <laughs> no, not really. But um, yeah, we will work on uh, it to kill that re re reliability. And, of course, uh, it's going to be fun. Yeah. <laughs> so, so uh, yeah. The, the, the takeaway from our today's video, please, is uh, brakes. We will extend the program now also in the web shop yes. regarding hill brakes, um, uh, brake lines. Yes. Um, oh, they're so pretty. Yeah, brake lines, uh, uh, what they offer. And um, it, it's also fun because uh, it was uh, uh, one of the sponsors of uh, Splitless. Uh, uh, John Dimbelo uh, 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 had them back in the days. Uh, they own all of the bikes. And, I know, uh, they also own all of the Bring the Bikes Home t-shirts because yes. one of the stickers that I have to peel out is actually teeny tiny here. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> so e even regarding that, the things uh, 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 are coming, coming together. Yes. So um, what else we have? That I think is it. Yes for today so if you are out there looking for have an idea of maybe a boxer cup replica racer mm. or if you are enduro. looking for a cool enduro or a cafe racer build um, uh, 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 contact us uh, we are happy to listen to your ideas and then we can look what we can provide and uh, we will soon um, uh, uh, start, as, as I said, Julia, with a wiring harness and, uh, and then um, that will be uh, Dino the next step yes. and then uh, we will see how we come out uh, for the stock bikes and then, uh, sorry, the stock motors and then, uh, uh, yeah, just head porting and we'll uh, the full, the full, the full circle. <laughs> yes. Right. Right. This was it for today, I think. Yeah. Next time you see the bike when we are talking BMW. Yes. And um, yeah, stay tuned. Yes. Have a nice day and take care now.
Okay. <laughs> bye bye. 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 Talk about? No, it's actually. It's kind of secret still, so we're just giving you a sneak peek. Yeah. Hello. Long time not seen. Uh, yeah. Um.